this is Day Z. And I've spawned in at Kamenka, which isn't if I'm, I'm assuming most of you guys do. Oh, my guy did a little vault animation there. But uh, I'm assuming a lot of people play the game now. It's got over 1.8 million uh, players. So pretty much 2 million players. Uh, this is the mod, of course. But uh, some really, you know, Triple Eight titles and, um, you know, real popular games don't even get that are over advertised. But DayZ, you know, it was just a game, uh, or mod, in fact, that uh, Rocket, uh, or his real name, Dean Hall, uh, just created, you know, just to see what it would be like having a zombie apocalypse in a war simulator. And it uh, turned out really well. Uh, I, I, I'm playing the mod here. Other than the standalone, because and I've got a zombie after me already. Uh, I'm playing the mod here instead of the standalone simply because I think it's a lot better at the moment. The standalone is basically nothing. Uh, no vehicles, not many guns. Although they have had a recent update that's added in a couple of guns, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm just going to shoot this zombie because I am in the wilderness and I don't actually. Even better idea. This is a really good arm. Um, strategy if you're on like a hill zigzag up the hill and you have to zigzag because that'll lose the zombies concentration level and then once you're at near the top of the hill you don't have to go to the very top um where oh lost in a bush if the zombie follows me hopefully he will run down you gonna run down? Ah, uh, well that... Usually they fall to their death and trip over somehow. But, that is an easy way on how to lose zombies. Now, you'll see me reloading my gun quite a lot here. I don't know, I'm just addicted to pressing R. It just makes that cool sound. But, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna run... I'm gonna run to Beloda because... I'm not too far from it. Kamenka's about 2,000 or 2.5 uh, kilometers out yep, from uh, Beloda. And Beloda, if you don't already know, is basically an airfield. And at an airfield, you'd expect you'd expect pretty good loot, wouldn't you? For you know, it's it's a military destination. They've probably left behind some supplies uh, for any survivors. And I'm not sure if that was a gunshot just there. This is a decent sized server, it's got about 40 players on it. And I am of course playing the Daisy Epoch mod, not just the Daisy game itself. Because it just, it's a lot better than the original because it's got base building, a currency and trader cities. And if I just pull up my map here, I'll just have to hide here so no one sees me. All of these blue circles are, I think they're missions. No, yes, they are custom missions that this server has put in. And then there's a bandit hunting party here. And then you've got your three black, two black circles and one green circle. So trader city, trader city, and another trader city. Then you've got your aircraft dealer where you can buy helicopters and planes from. Then you have hero camp where you can buy exclusive stuff to heroes only and to be, hero, to be a hero, sorry. You need 5,000 plus humanity. And on some servers, uh, on all servers, sorry, they have bandit camps where if you're a bandit, uh, you can get uh, exclusive items. But I do believe stuff is uh, more expensive there. I think it's either minus 2,500 humanity or minus 5,000 humanity. Now, obviously, it'd be much easier to become a bandit, but that's not what I'm going to strive for in this series. I'm going to, I'm not the guy who shoots on sight. I'm there. There are so many players. Like when Daisy first came out, and I'm sure a lot of you have been told this. You know, if you watch Frankie or anything, there were not. You know, players bandits would hold up, would even hold you up and strip all your gear, leave you with clothes and maybe maybe some painkillers. They wouldn't kill you. And is that? Do I have a flashlight for this thing? Yeah, a lot of people don't know that um, G17s actually have um, flashlights just automatically equipped to them. 
So you just press L for that. But as I was saying, and then the heroes would, uh, you know, they would hold you up. But they would give you gear. That they were nice guys. Nowadays, most of the population of Daisy is bandit. Uh, I don't know the word, to, you know. But uh, yeah, it, they're all bandits. I'd say over a million players of Daisy are bandits. And, uh, you know, maybe that 500,000. And that's a lot of the heroes. But, you know, that's disappointing. You know, I'm going to treat this game as if it's a real zombie apocalypse. I'm going to play it real tactically. And we're coming into the town of Komarovo here, which is the town next to our Beloda. But, yeah, I've got my, I've got my settings. Um, I have, when it's night time, I didn't really want to start this off uh, night time, but, you know, what can you do? So, sadly, it is night time, but I've got my gamma turned up a bit. Um, and I've got my graphics on very high. Gamma is on 1.5, and I've got the brightness turned all the way up. Now, I might just head to below to see what there is, and uh, see what happens. So, I've, I've not really flanked, but I've walked around from uh, Kamenka. Uh, to just around the back of uh, Beloda through the trees so uh, it's harder to get spotted but I'm going to use third person here so I sort of get that full 360 degree view because obviously when you're in first person you only really get 70 degrees but that, that's not a problem but I'm just gonna I'm gonna approach the um, oh god there's a walker somewhere Ah, oh, shit, they're in here. I think they're going aggro on someone. That's not good. With only a G17, I... Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. Who is that? And I've got an aggro. I've got an aggro. That's never good. Um... Now, I don't know if that guy was just logging in and had his mic uh, turned on, because that sometimes affects the whole server and the whole server can hear him. Or he's sitting up in that radio tower. Now, I can't do much to him with a G17, so I can't hold him up unless I've got a clear shot of his head. Now, it is highly possible that he's sitting up there in that radio tower. And I don't know where that aggro zombie went. And pretty much if I turn on turn on my flashlight, I'm pretty much done for. Because that gives away my location to anyone else who's sitting around here. But I think I'm going to take a leap of faith. And I'm going to slowly, slowly, slowly. It's hard to tell if these fences... Okay, oh, look, I'll just move up nice and quiet. Because there is A-grade military loot in here, so if there's anyone in here, there's a high chance. Ah. So I've got myself an MP5A5 now. No mags. No one on this level. And if there is someone up here, they've definitely heard me come. Take this bandage since I've only got two. Okay. I'll just get down. Alright, so we have a Bison PP19. What? Ah, so the MP5A5 takes G17 mags. Alright. Oh, and a GPS. That is going to be so helpful. Uh, you don't need a map to mark. Um, I mean, you do not need a GPS to mark anywhere on your map. If I just place here near Cabanino, it'll tell me 6,000 meters away. But I would not need a GPS to do that. And if you want to get rid of the marker, hover over it, press a delete key, 
he'll get rid of your marker. So that's what I'm going to do for now because I am in no need of going to uh, Cabernino. But you might be wondering why I don't have, uh, I'm not putting that MP5 in my backpack. I'm just going to hide in these in these stairs. Basically, this backpack only has eight slot, ten slots. My bad. Last time I remember, there was uh, only eight slots, and I placed a gun in there. And it despawned, but in this case, zombies are growing. Oh my god! No, I have no. No, they are growing in the hangar. I have got to get out of here. Gonna hold up my MP5A5. Make sure the mags are full. There's someone out there with a flashlight on. Now this guy will be 100% hostile. If I can get a clear view of him, I'll try and hold him up. Maybe he's already seen me. Hopefully not. But he has some serious aggro. And he's being hit. Hey buddy, can you hear me? I'm friendly inside this radio tower. Are you? I'm friendly, dude. I'm friendly. Type in chat it and tell me if you're friendly. Are you friendly? Are you just bandaging yourself? Don't don't worry, man. I'm friendly. Now, you can never tell. Oh my god. No way. Oh my god. This is uh this is my friend. Right, <laughs> how's it going, man? Oh no way! What are the odds? I was actually getting scared there because this guy had a gun, but no, not a problem. Hey, man. <laughs> Sup, twat? You have an M8 in your backpack, dude. Now this was not planned. This was 100% not planned. It was complete chance that I walked into him out of the 40 players online in Beloda. <laughs> That's a relief. Um, well then, I'll probably head off to another town and get some uh, better loot. Nuke incoming. Take cover, take cover. What are you doing? Where do you take cover? I don't know, just go into a house. Hello, Mr. Everyone losing connection. I'm not losing connection. Oh, I'm frozen. I can move around and shit. I can't. Oh my god. What the hell? Whoa! Alright, alright, that's it. This is right, That must be a hacker. That must be a hacker. There's no way everyone. Oh wow. Oh. <sighs> just happened. So, after just getting butt fucked. Uh, by a, a, a hacker, I would have thought, uh, you know, they would have uh, somehow gotten rid of all the hangers, uh, hackers. Um, he just nuked the whole server and committed, su made everyone suicide. Wasn't very nice, Mr. Hacker. Never seen that type of hack before, but what's this? Is he, is he just like, left trails of fucking fire everywhere? I don't even know. I think I'm in Electro. If I am, I'm getting a decent amount of frames. What's this? So we've got a blown up Humvee here from the um from the nuke, which isn't which is never good. But uh, that is not how I like to play Daisy. I was I was just about to head up to Zelenogorsk, meet up with my uh, 
with a couple of uh, friends that radioed in. Good to see they're still alive, or well, maybe not, maybe not now. But um, yeah, I guess that uh, that sucks. So uh, while I'm in Electra, I might as well. Whoa, what the hell? Oh my god! Who has spawned all this in? Oh my god! So I was gonna say while I'm in Electra, I might as well loot up. Hopefully there's not even uh, not any players in here because I'm just I don't need a, a flare. I'm just gonna head up to ooh, a Winchester. Now these are like one of my favorite guns because I got a, a great MLG uh, kill streak with it. It was like a two kill streak or something, not much, but it was two guys in an armored Humvee. I shot out the gunner somehow, and then shot out the driver. Got their Humvee, GG. So uh, that was fun. And oh, is this an yes AKM? Ah, oh, this is per and a GPS. Well, getting nuked isn't so bad after all. Uh, while these bikes are here, I might as well take one and it'll definitely make life easier. But how they all got here, it is beyond me. But I'm gonna end the video here. Oh, and uh, obviously, these are hacked bikes which kill you as soon as you hop on. But I'm gonna end the video here. If you liked it, rate it, you know, do all that stuff. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video.